Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about three different ways to do the gunshot effect in iMovie. So as I said, today we're going to be discussing three methods of you doing the gunshot effect in iMovie. The first one looks like this. So before we get started, we're going to have to do a few things. The first thing you're going to want to do is on the top of the screen, go to iMovie, select Preferences, and make sure that the Show Advanced Tools box is checked. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to File and Import. And when you import your media, you have to make sure that the Optimize Video box is not checked. Otherwise, your effects will have a black background. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to look for where your effect starts in your timeline. My effect starts around here. You've, you have to make sure you know exactly where it starts, so when you drag your effect down from your event browser, it's in the right spot. Then you're going to find where your effect starts and ends in the event browser and drag it on top of your clip. You're going to select the picture and picture option, and then you can scrub through the timeline to see what it looks like. You may have to adjust the starting point a little bit so that the effect goes better with the video. When you play the video, the effect will usually freeze, but if you're scrubbing through the timeline, you'll be able to see the effect. When you render, it'll all work out. Now that, I, now that I've lined up my effect with the clip, I'm going to line up the edge of the muzzle flash with the edge of my barrel in my video by simply clicking and dragging on the effect. As you can see, I'm scrubbing through to make sure it's lined up fine. The next step is adding a sound effect. This is optional, but it really makes the effect a lot better. So I saved it in this folder on my desktop, and you don't even have to import it. You can just drag it onto the timeline. As you can see, if I play through the effect, it is frozen. But if I scrub through, I can see how it will look once it is rendered. This method was my favorite. The next one isn't as convincing, but it still works well, especially if you can't find any pre-keyed footage. It, it will look like this. It works well for dramatic shots and at the end of a video. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to split the clip right where you take your shot. Then, you're going to open up the Generators tab, and you're going to find the solid black image, and drag it in between your two clips. I just repositioned the sound effect there. And you're done. This one is super easy and super quick, and it still gives a convincing look, and a dramatic look, to your video. This last method is probably the least convincing, but it gives some variability. It'll look like this. first thing you have to do is split the clip in the frame before you take your shot and then in the frame or a few frames after you take your shot and what you're doing is isolating the time when your sound effect is playing The next thing you're going to want to do is hit I to open up the inspector while your small clip is selected and select the video tab. You can push up the exposure a little bit and the brightness, pull down the saturation 
and turn up the contrast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this helped. Rate, comment, and subscribe.